southern states are losing ground to a dangerous invader. That is our enemy. That is the Chinese salad. The highly invasive trees have spread so far and wide since the 1990s, some states now regulate the sale and transport of Chinese tala, which are out-competing native plants for space and resources. They grow fast, they mature fast, so they can start being reproductive, producing viable seeds at three years. And for up to 100 years, they'll be producing this just massive quantity of seeds. Data from the U.S. Forest Service show tallow is now spreading across 10 states, but it's most problematic in Texas, where the number of trees has nearly tripled, and in Louisiana, where the population has increased by more than 500 percent in the past two decades. It's basically uh, one of the most perfect invasive tree species, um, just for its wide tolerance of different conditions. It can tolerate shade, it can tolerate full sun, and all sorts of different soil chemistries. Cutting the trees down entirely and then treating each stump with herbicide is the most effective form of eradication, but it's labor intensive and not practical on a wide scale. That's why researchers are hopeful a new form of ammunition may soon be on the way, the flea beetle from the Talos native region of eastern China. Importing an organism to help control another organism right off the bat doesn't sound very intuitively smart to do, but it turns out that especially with insects and plants, they've co-evolved over many millions of years and in, in a lot of cases, the insect is very host specific. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has been working on an environmental impact assessment, and if approved, the beetles could be released as early as next year. Getting tallow under control is vital for the health of the ecosystem. Most damaging is the tallow's ability to crowd out native plants and trees. When you don't have the sweet pecans, when you don't have um, the different type of berries, the yopons, the, um, the great wide variety of beautiful plants we have in southern Louisiana, then you're also not going to have the wide variety of beautiful animals. A dangerous domino effect capable of disrupting an entire ecosystem. Stacy Plaisance, The Associated Press, New Orleans.